that this is made in 3D printing. Very cool piece. John Phillips prepares the 3D printed objects for assembly. He's the founder of the Fabricators Foundation, leading the production of 3D printed stethoscopes in St. Louis for Glia, a Canadian medical device manufacturer. On here, you could see, you know, this, uh, like, these are very actually complicated shapes here for 3D printed, and there's moving parts as well. And um, it's extremely light. I think normally on the 3M ones, these are made out of metal, which is quite heavy. And this stethoscope is quite light. Simply made with earbuds and this tube. And this is what gives you really like about a thousand percent better uh, sound quality. If sound is the most important thing in a stethoscope, then We've got that box checked. It's not a medical supply product. It's a common hardware supply. This is tubing that comes out of Coke machines. Philip says the idea stems from the war-torn Gaza Strip, where Glia's founder works to provide health care and much-needed medical devices. From this last conflict between Israel and Palestine, Dr. Tarek Lubani, who's the founder of Glia, is Palestinian and his family's from there. The Glia team in Gaza and St. Louis make the most out of using 3D printers. One stethoscope costs just $5 to make and sells for $30. And it's an open source design, meaning it's shared for anyone in the world to make as the design is publicly accessible. So, uh, Phillips explains this, Glia is making open source from, uh, medical devices to help provide care in places where healthcare is lacking. Interest of humanity to have these, these solutions. He says Glia is also leading a campaign to mass produce open source 3D printed tourniquets. Actually, the team in Gaza produced it. They created the first ones. According to Glia, so far, over 1,000 of these have been deployed in the field to treat critical bleeding injuries. To immobilize the, the injured, this is a simple method, a simple way so that you can have it in an emergency kit. You need something that's, that's light and also like... Um, that's uh, firm, and um, that's, that's why you need the 3D printing. It produces extremely strong and thin and light parts.